Hello, it's another day in the garden with me. This video may be a little bit different than what you're used to with me. I'm going to, my plan today is to pick as many peppers as possible and possibly make some hot pepper jelly. So hot pepper jelly is a nice jelly that um, it adds a side, a little bit of texture or spiciness to a meal, or you can eat it with cheese and crackers and just a little dollop of pepper on top. Welcome inside. We're in our very dated kitchen that we're hoping to redo this year, this winter, uh, but welcome. I got my pot ready, my pectin ready, my spoon ready. Okay. My jars are in the dishwasher getting sanitized. They're almost done and then I'll give them another cleaning. My peppers are all in the sink. Cleaned, maybe a little bit more cleaning to do first. And then we'll get chopping over here. These are some hot peppers, so I will be wearing some gloves during this chopping, just because the last time I chopped some of these peppers, my hands were very warm for a couple days. Safety first, guys. I am far from a professional chef or cook, but you know what? Follow a recipe and anybody can do this. It does take some time and some challenges to get used to uh, processing the jelly.
Midpoint pepper chop and check in bowl right now. Um, got some tiny, tiny chopped in there. So with this pepper jelly, and I just found this recipe on Pinterest, you could put any kind of peppers in it to amend it to your liking. Um, I have not made this before, so we'll see how it turns out. I have made jellies and jams before, um, sometimes successful, sometimes not. So we'll see what happens with this one. So far, so good. Chop, chop, chop. Let's keep going. That's a lot of chopping. I got two jalapenos left. Now, um, I do wanna let you guys know that, yes, this recipe, you can put seeds from the peppers into the jelly. So if you see here, there is, yes, some seeds in there. I just wanna limit the amount of seeds I'm putting in from these very, very hot peppers. I may add some red pepper seeds that we have dried already and put them in. But we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in the end and once it starts cooking. Now also, you can make this pepper jelly with any kind of peppers. You could keep it pretty mild and use red, green, yellow, the ones that you buy at the store. Um, I'm using what I grow. 100% this is what I grew. This year, I grew a lot of hot peppers. So join me to chop up these final two. So what I do is I chop off the little stem, I cut them in half, I scoop out the seeds, you could save them, you can compost them, you could do whatever you want with those seeds. Uh, then I chop finely in this recipe, it needs to be finely chopped. So enjoy these last two peppers. So chop the stem off. Cut it in half and I'm gonna scoop out these seeds. I use a spoon to help scoop them out because it makes it just a little bit easier. And again, you could leave those seeds in if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You might as well chop this one. China chopping. Oh, there's a clump of seeds that I missed. Compost bucket. Compost bucket. Let's throw them in. So Josh and I like spicy foods, but we like spicy foods. We like spicy foods that have flavor, not spicy foods that burn. There's definitely a difference there. So I'm very curious how spicy this is gonna be. It might not be one that the family wants because a lot of our family doesn't like spicy, but we do and a lot of our friends do too. So I hope I hope this has a good kick, but not, not a, a burn your mouth kind of kick. More of a flavor kick than a burn your mouth kick. Well, there's all the peppers. So on to the next stop. There's all the compost I have, or some some of that can go to the chickens. The chickens don't mind spicy, spicy food. So um, sometimes I give them pepper seeds and stuff like that. Uh, they don't have the receptors like we do and other animals do to determine that it's spicy. And I have given them pepper seeds quite often and they go into a little bit of a frenzy when it comes to that. So I might show you that later, but we'll see. Now, the only thing with peppers and chickens though is the stem. They can't eat that stem. 
And I think generally they know not to eat it anyway. Um, anyway, we'll see. We'll maybe take that to the chickens for a treat. There's lots of seeds in there. They'll probably go crazy. My chickens tend to be food crazy anyway. Again, try not to waste anything, whether, you know, if you consider throwing it in the compost a waste, I don't, I don't. That's, uh, again, seeds that might populate and germinate on their own for next year, and it helps the soil as well. So, there's my peppers all chopped. Alright, next phase of making this hot pepper jelly. Let's call it the green pepper jelly because it's all green. Anyways, I got my covers and everything about to start boiling. Let's just turn that on here. That will take longer than most other things. I got my sugar, five cups, my cup of apple cider vinegar, and my pectin. Thank you for following along and thank you for watching. I will let you know how this turns out. After all that work, we're left with five and a half jars. A half jar is our taste tester jar. And now this looks really cool and dark. I think the more colorful peppers you have in, of course, the more um, colorful it is. And you see some seeds in there as well. I did end up adding a little bit of um, peppers, uh, hot chili peppers to it as well. So I'm very curious how this is going to test. Test and taste, that is. All right, back outside with the chicky chicks. There's baby bird. Yeah. And the pepper pieces. Baby Bird, you want it all? Yeah? I'll bring it around. Let's see. Let's see the frenzy. Come on, chickens. All right, move over. Let me put it in here for you. Ready for the frenzy? Yeah? All right, come on. Everybody in. Whoop, baby bird. Feeding frenzy. Is it good? Who's that, baby bird? Is that hot? I don't know. Yeah. Get in the frenzy. Get in there, Black Betty. Get in there, Black Betty. Get in there, Betty. Get in there, Betty. 
Dolly be the Dolly's the boss of the, the hens here. She's definitely the boss. Dolly. The next day and it's jam taste testing time I made myself a little plate and I'll show you what I do now I do want to let you know that this video uh, this uh, recipe is just something that I found on Pinterest I'm no cook no expert nor am I giving you the steps on how to make this jam this is just an idea of one thing to do with your peppers so have a look I'll show you what I do with this and we'll see how good it is So, oh, a little bit of cream cheese on a cracker, and a little dollop of jam. So, you got something like that. I'm going to say that was a success. Thanks for watching.